telling you. Okay, so it's time for another CZW episode after the controversial um, barbed wire brawl where not only was David Flair mercilessly beaten up by Nick Cage for being an outsider not belonging, Marty Jannetty was mercilessly beaten up by a lot of the rock room in a shoot incident that shocked the wrestling world when it crossed the dirt sheets. Actually put CZW in the map more than people thought it did. Um, it, was, it was a moment where people really got talking about CZW and uh, what they did to Janetti and would incorporate it into their storylines going forward. Here's what how it happens. So we kick off our show and uh, Kimono's out there celebrating with the band. But as she does, I wanted to make this a surprise. Hope this works okay. The bells toll. That's enough. Um, out comes Nick Gage. And Nick Gage gets the microphone. And he's like, MTK, throw it up. Yeah, I did what I did. The whole world is talking about CZW. The whole world is talking about Nick Gage, as they should be. What I did to David Flair, justify. What I did to Marty Jannetty, he deserved. You're going to come to CZW, you're going to deal with Nick Gage. That's how things work around here. You're going to deal with me. You're going to deal with a man. You're going to deal with murder, death, kill. Zandig comes out and he gets my class. I don't think you understand who's in charge here. I'm in charge here. You want to talk about who built the house of CZW? John Zandig. Right here, I did. I bring in David Flair to put some eyes on the product. I bring in Marty J to sign some autographs and have a match against Rick Blade. And you do that to me? No one's coming here now. You understand that? The stars don't want to come here. I've had to go to Japan and do deals with Big Japan and FMW. Who's in a single mainstream guy wants to come to CZW now? You did that. Yeah, we're about ultra violence. We're about keeping it real. We're about being the baddest of the bad. But I want to give these fans something to see. So tonight, me and you are going to have a tag team match. You get a partner, I'll get a partner. Because I'm sick of it. I don't want to have to deal with you after tonight, Nick Gage. Oh, you think you're going to get rid of me that easily, John? We'll have a tag match. I'll fly out and kill you. We kick off with Lobo and just 24 better. Low against the Backseat Boys. The Backseat Boys retain their titles. Ah, I thought last time was defense number one of their titles. What am I going to learn? They don't want to be in hardcore. They celebrate with Kimono. Like, just all at one. Like, clearly, there is a sexual thing between these three. We'll, get, we'll develop as we go. Like, this is, like, what is going on between these three? When her hand come on, what is happening? Uh, Magic gets a nine. Necro Butcher defeats Nate Webb. Um, 
Yeah. Nick Mondo versus Nick Burke and Reckless Youth for the the CCW Junior Heavyweight title. Nick Burke was a weak link, but I'm happy Nick Burke's improving. He got a 24 and a 28 from these guys. That's good. Uh, Nick Mono took a crazy bump. Nick Burke, he's just back from injury. Or oh, Nick Mondo. How did he? How did he give him a pulled hamstring? How did he give him? A Recklessly celebrates with Kimona. Ian Rotten, Madman Pondo. Ian Rotten at a 34. In a boot camp match, I just, I'm just chucking in the hardcore stuff. The brawly, brawly stuff. Come on, Ian, you can brawl. You can both brawl. Uh, and afterwards, Ian Rotten grabs a mic off the ring and she goes, Rick Blade! I saw what you did to Janetti. I saw you did it. Part of me respected it. Part of me saw what you did and saw you defending this territory. Defending this promotion against outsiders coming in here, taking our jobs. Taking our jobs! Sorry. Um, taking our jobs. Another part of me because you took liberties in this ring. Rick. So how about. Next month. Me and you. World title. Why? Because I don't have to justify myself to you. I'm Ian Rotten. Watch. My death matches and tell me I do not deserve it because I do. Main Ron goes to the back. Main event match 20. Terrible. Um, Rick Blade was alright, 33. Uh, Nick Gage. Nick Gage improved in flying skills, Rick in performance skills. That's good. He got a 20. Nick Gage and Rick Blade defeat John Sandy, Mustafa Saeed. John Sandy was the first there, Mustafa Saeed. After the match, Kimura holds up Nick Gage's hand. They go to leave. John Sandy gets the microphone. Going so soon. I didn't know Nick Gage was a coward. Nick Gage stops. Turns around and goes, Say it again. I didn't know Nick Gage was a coward. Nick Gage gets back in the ring. I mean, just start wailing on each other. Like, they're punching us. Both of them go and get a chair and they will crack each other in the head with a chair. They both go down, both stumble up, they do it again, and they stumble up in the back, empties and separates them out. I should have booked this. The back, the lads come out and separate them out as they both shouting curse words at each other, really, really going at each other. Um, and it's kind of, it's all kind of disintegrates the back as the show goes off air. Off, not, it's not even on air. Just live. 303 people. Basically, we didn't broadcast it because I, uh, I didn't spot that Scott Dawes, that Scott Hudson's contract was expiring. We offered a new contract. He should be back for the next show, but he wasn't there tonight. Nick Gage is slightly overused. All right, thank you for watching. Um, I think that was interesting. Hopefully you liked that episode. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, full disclosure. I forgot about the second May show. Sorry. So we're going to keep this really brief. I cut the show down from two hours to one and a half hours. Keep it tight. Let's do this. Two, keep it to a couple minutes. Two, three minutes. All right. So.
Kimono opens the show with a big dancing number for the fans. Sexy dance, sexy dancing. Um, six man tag, Reckless Youth and the Backseat Boys against Madman Pondo, Necro Butcher, Nick Mondo. Uh, Reckless Youth and the Backseat Boys win. Nick Mondo does a crazy bump. That match is a bit better. Oh my word. I've got to get rid of the Backseat Boys. I'm having. Oh my word. Right, Nate Webb and Wife Beater versus the one Justice Pain. Not a great match, but um, Nate Webb was better. Kuno's in the ring, doing a little dance to the fans. Nick Gage comes out. He calls out John Zandig. He says, yo, Zandig, get out here. And Zandig comes out. They trade, like, Nick Gage is like, tonight... You, me, Rick Blade, world title. But listen, next month, it is you and me. Do not forget it. I don't care if I'm the champ or not. You're going down, murder, death, kill. John Zanning's like, yeah, man. I, these are terrible impressions. John Zanning's like, I don't need a title to beat you. I don't want a title to beat you. This isn't about a title. It's about kicking your ass. I'm going to do it tonight, and I'm going to do it at the next show. I'm going to keep doing it. Because it's fun. Quick little thing. Um, Ian Rotten. Not a bad match. He's 34. Ian Rotten defeating Mustafa Saeed in the Falls Count Anywhere match. Okay. In our main event. 22. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Nick Brickblade got 36. Sandy 27. Nick Gage 20. Nick Gage is improving. So that's good. Nick, a bruised kidney. So, Rick Blade defeat John Zandy, Nick Cage, and I quit match. Mission Jandig first, Nick Cage second. And we get it, Kimono's handing the attack to Rick Blade. He gets jumped from behind by Ian Rotten. Nick Cage and John Zandig, they roll around weapons, uh, you know, tables, glass. Nick Gage power bombs John Zandig off of something tall through a table. Um, going to start ramping up the hardcore violence as of the next show. But that's just a quick. Gets us a 32. I'm happy with that. So thank you. I am growing, we're going the right direction. Things happening here. Hope you're enjoying it. 300 largest attendance yet. Yo. Uh, I will see you. Genuinely this time. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow is June.